There once was a man who sought a boon of the gods, for peace was over the world, and all things savored of sameness. And a man was weary at heart, and sighed for the tents and war fields. Therefore he sought a boon of the ancient gods. And appearing before them, he said to them, Ancient gods, there is peace in the land where I dwell, and indeed to the uttermost parts, and we are full weary of peace. O ancient gods, grant us war. And the ancient gods made him a war. And a man went forth with his sword, and behold, it was even war. And a man remembered the little things that he knew, and thought of the quiet days there used to be, and at night on the hard ground dreamed of those things of peace, and dearer and dearer grew the wanted things, to all but easeful things of the days of peace. And remembering these, he began to regret the war, so once more a boon to the ancient gods. And appearing before them, he said, O ancient gods, indeed, but a man loves best the days of peace. Therefore take back your war and give us peace, for indeed of all your blessedness peace is best. And man returned to the haunts of peace. But in a while the man grew weary of peace, of the things that he used to know, and the savor of sameness again. And sighing again for the tents, and peering once more to the gods, he said to them, Ancient gods, we do not love your peace, for indeed the days are dull, and a man is best at war. Again the gods made him a war. And there are drums again, the smoke of campfires again, wind in the waste again, the sound of horses of war, burning cities again, and the things that wanderers know. The thoughts of that man went home to the ways of peace, moss upon lawns again, light in old spires again, sun upon gardens again, flowers in pleasant woods, and sleep in the paths of peace. And once more the man appeared to the ancient gods, and sought for them one more boon, and said to them, Ancient gods, indeed but the world, and we are weary of war, and long for the ancient ways and the paths of peace. So the gods took back their war, and gave him peace. But the man took counsel one day, and communed long with himself, and said to himself, Behold, the wishes I wish, which the gods grant, are not to be much desired. And the gods should one day grant a wish and never revoke it, which is the way of the gods. I should be sorely tried because of my wish. My wishes are dangerous wishes and not to be desired. And therefore he wrote an anonymous letter to the gods, writing, O ancient gods, this man that hath four times troubled you with his wishes, wishing for peace and war, is a man that hath no reference for the gods, speaking ill of them on days when they do not hear, and speaking well of them on holy days, and at the appointed hours when the gods are hearkening to prayer. Therefore grant no more wishes to this impious man. And the days of peace were on, and there arose again from the earth, like mists in the autumn from the fields that generations have plowed, the savor of sameness again. And the man went forth one morning, and appeared once more to the gods, and cried, O ancient gods, give us but one war again, for I will be back to the camps and debatable borders of lands. And the gods said, we hear not well of your way of life. Ye ill things have come to our hearing, so that we grant no more the wishes you wish.